Hi, it's me again. How's everybody doing? I just wanted to post this a little bit. I'm looking at my reflection. So, a lot of times when I do these quirky, off-the-cuff videos where I'm not even trying to look cute, it's because I have something on my mind right then. And this is on my mind right now. And not so much that it's just newly on my mind, but I just decided to open up and talk about it. So, I have a question. Does anybody else who has any kind of autoimmune system health issues have a problem with their self body image or just self image altogether? Um, because I am having a huge self esteem issue and I don't know, it just started happening recently and I am not really sure if it's because I'm empathic and I'm picking up other people's schmoo or other people's mojo coming into my space because I do my very best to try to push all that out or if it's because I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm seeing, oh hey, you're 80 pounds heavier than you were when you started this new medication or you started the last medication or 80 pounds heavier than you were uh, six years ago when you met your husband, which is all true. I have in a short period of time gained a boatload of weight and it has to do with the medicines that I've been taking. Um, I've had every form of steroid that you can imagine because I need them and I have I have an autoimmune problem. I have uh, multiple sclerosis, which has various side effects. Pick one. Um, I have problems with my vision. Uh, right now I have asthma. I don't know if it's asthma or if it's my lungs being compressed because I've put on so much weight or um, if it has to do with the environment. I'm not really sure, but Today I have a little bit of laryngitis and it's just crazy to me how my hair is just snapping right off, just snapping just right off. I could pull a chunk of it and I'll get 300 strands of hair in my fingers. Um, and it wasn't thick to begin with. I've always had thin hair, but I've always dyed my hair because I have trigeminal neuralgia. I can't dye my hair anymore because... The smell of it burns my whole face and because it goes up into my sinuses where I have raw nerves. Um, the coloring gets into my scalp. Even if you don't touch the scalp, it still somehow manages to burn your scalp. And obviously I can't have my hair bleached or dyed because of that. Uh, the trigeminal neuralgia because it is all nerve pain going through your scalp from the trigeminal nerve that goes through your face. So um, sometimes I have a hard time talking because of the trigeminal neuralgia. My tongue will get swollen and I'll bite my tongue 30 times in a day or I bite my lip 30 times in a day or I'm just plain sore so it hurts to move my mouth. And so I feel not myself when I'm talking to people because for one, I have a little bit of a speech impediment sometimes, and sometimes now I have laryngitis, so I just sound, you know, blah, 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 like I'm scratchy. Uh, the way I look is blowing my mind, and I feel like, you know, I wonder maybe it's a going to my spirituality, maybe it's an issue of karma. Maybe I was so shallow when I was a teenager. And younger and you know back in the days when I you know I used to be like the trophy girlfriend I was always cute I had a cute figure I had the 80s hair the the perfect 80s hair I always had I was a Mary Kay girl for I don't know 15 years or something so I always had beautiful makeup on and I had good friends who were also Mary Kay girls and hairdressers so I always had the perfect hair always had the perfect hair and I wouldn't accept anything less oh my goodness 
So I'm just wondering if it's my karma coming back to hit me because I was so shallow when I was younger that, pow, now I'm just having to rely on my personality. And I don't know if my personality is good enough to rely on. I would like to think that it is. And I strive to try to be a good person. I know I have left a lot of people behind me um, because, you know, we just grew apart and we're not in the same peer group anymore uh, because we have evolved at different stages, at different speeds. Some people evolved one way, I evolved another way. Um, I haven't really left my hometown, but my head has left my spiritual upbringing that I used to have. Also, my heart is in a different place now. So I think I'm strong enough to look into my shadow self to see if it could be because of that. Um, but I just, I wonder if anybody else, if it's just me or if anybody else has this self image issue. Um, self-acceptance is not happening. I don't know what else to do. I can't say that it's because I eat too much. I can say it's because sometimes I eat the wrong things, but I don't hardly eat anything. And when I do eat often, I have little teeny tiny bits because I know how to eat right. And I've always eaten semi-good. Sometimes I eat better than others, but I've never eaten terrible not terrible. Once I became an adult and started cooking for myself and all of that, I started taking care of myself and taking good care of myself. Now, oh my gosh, it just seems like my hair is falling out that's on the top of my head. I'm growing weird hair in other places. It doesn't need to be. Um, I'm losing like my eyebrow hair. Like everything that characterizes me as a person or a girl is like gone. <laughs> it's like I'm, I feel like a giant Oompa Loompa, I swear to gosh. So, with my Def Leppard shirt. Anyways, I was just wondering if anybody else has self esteem issues or body image concerns. Cause I definitely do, and I don't know how to get past it other than try to make myself look prettier. But there's really nothing I can do because every dang thing is falling apart. I'm like, an old jalopy car driving down the road that the owner just gave up on. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Stuff's falling off. Stuff's falling out. Rust is <laughs> coming to town. And I just don't know what else to do. So I'm just curious if anybody else is having that issue because I am seriously having an issue with it. I don't like to be out in public. I don't like to be out of my house because I'm very concerned with how I look and I don't know if that makes me a shallow person but I feel like I'm a good person and anybody would be blessed to speak with me on the phone <laughs> I feel like in person I'm just I don't know if it's because I'm that judgmental of other people I didn't think that I was but I just look at myself I wonder what the hell is going on. Something is happening. My nails are falling apart because of this medicine that I'm taking now. My nails are actually just flaking off. My hair just snaps off when I brush it. So I try not to brush it too many times a day, but I want to keep it healthy. Um, my face is just bloated beyond bloat because of steroids and... I still am taking steroids, which I have to take because it's helping my lung condition. It's insane. So, I don't know. If anybody else is having these issues, I would love to know about it. If you can leave me comments, please do that. If you could just subscribe, like, and... Or like and subscribe, wherever the buttons are. If you could just do the thing down there, I would greatly appreciate it. And leave me your comments. If you want to look up my website... It's www.whitelightmystic.com. And also, I do have two Facebook pages. One is a group. One is a business. If you want to write to me on Facebook, www.whitelightmystic.com for my, my website. 
and White Light Mystic on Facebook. One is a group page, one is a business page. Write to me there. Let me know what you think. You can also see pictures of what I really... I guess I can't say what I really do look like. Because this is what I really look like. But the other ones are what I like to look like. Prettier hair, makeup on, nice clothes. Well, the stuff leopard shirt is sacred. So I can't say anything about that. But let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe to me. And if you are one of those people that is having some self-image concerns or if you have the autoimmune system issues and you have to take boatloads of medication too that it's altering your appearance write to me let me know what you do because I would like to know what anybody else does because I don't know what else to do but I know I don't want to be sitting in my house in the dark talking to my cats all day because the cats don't care what I look like they just love me anyway <laughs> as long as I feed them they love me anyways but the cats are nice so I hope this is finding you in good self-esteem <laughs> and a nice day and hopefully I will talk to you soon peace